Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Breezy Bree bringing you episode 17 of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last episode, this boss transformed into this weird looking beast. Um, so we're just gonna go in and destroy uh, the best we can. He's definitely- ooh, he's gonna take him out. I'm guessing the best- best bet is magic? Uh, I almost just want to end my turn to have it move up. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Nope, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I'm on it. Let's go ahead and end. Okay, it's gonna move up. Okay, we're gonna attack these boys. I don't know what that means. Okay. Is he gonna attack him again? Yeah. Okay. Here's our best bet. Okay. Neutral terrain. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do this. And we're gonna take a little damage with the do, but I'm I'm gonna hit okay with that. Uh I'm gonna move up. Ooh, that's scary. That's too scary. Oops. That will kill. Okay, so let's go like this. Before we do anything else, I'm going to assist and I'm going to heal him. Yeah. Perfect. I'm getting my... And then our best bet is to go up in here, like so, and go combat art. Oh, too bad, we couldn't get a crit. Alright. I really didn't want to give all those levels to uh, Dimitri, but that's okay. Uh, it just healed itself, hello? So confused. I don't understand how. I mean, Felix can't move anywhere. Can we? I don't think we can attack over, can we? There we go. Oh, that's a crit too. I'm so confused. Why why is he not going down? What? I guess we gambit. I owe you one. Get some heals going there. I we kinda of bottlenecked ourselves, but like there's nothing else I can do. Oh jeez. What? I'm confused. I'm confused, what?
Dang, I don't know. Bane. I guess. And. I'm. S I think I'm gonna end my turn here. Stay focused. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna end my turn. Okay, everybody lived there. have enough heals for everyone. Let's be careful. I'm gonna have to move her back here and we're gonna have to do this. See that doesn't attack with that. Oops. I, I do have a lot of uh, heals, so. Like, I have to I do this as I go. 
The problem is that he can attack. I'm gonna take her down to 12 HP. I'm gonna move you back. Ooh, all right. Go ahead and enter. Okay, that was a nice miss. Okay. Nice. I don't... I'm a little confused on what to do. Doesn't do a lot of damage. So. Wait. I'm trying to use like all my really OP units here. And it's gonna be crit. Nice. Okay, so you did just have to defeat it three times. Oh my god, that was annoying. I had no clue how to defeat that. Okay. Goddess. It's over. Let's retrieve the lance and leave this place. Make one. My brother. Hey, MVP. All right. We'll take it. All right, let's go ahead and save here. That man, his form was changed. It was as though that lance was swallowing him whole. Yeah, it is On that side, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Makes sense. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. I let Gilbert fall, but oh well. I wasn't gonna let anyone fall, but what transpired at the tower. It was better to have us fall than any of any of my squad. So people would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? Jeez. Let's His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Oh, is that what we're calling for it? someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. Wow, she knew? Of course. That is why we rushed to recover it. Sadly, we did not arrive in time. The church will formally return the lance to House Gautier, if you would. Hmm. I'm gonna say it will not. What is the meaning of this? Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lady Rhea, I am overjoyed and beyond grateful to you for recovering the relic of my family, House Gautier. Now, may I please have that lance? I have received direct approval from my father to take possession of it. Hmm. As the next head of House Gautier, do you swear that you will never cause such a deplorable incident to transpire? On my family's name, and on my brother's life, I swear it. <sighs> Very well. Yeah, she need to get over However, herself. I have one condition. You must never allow another to wield this lance. 
Your brother clearly demonstrated what fate awaits those who break that restriction. Yes. I... I will not soon forget. He deserved it. Is your meeting over, Professor? Mm, you look troubled. I was just thinking about something. Professor, the possession of relics and crests has been highly valued in Fargus since ancient times. It's far from uncommon for someone to lose their ability to lead their house because they don't bear a crest. Just like Miklon. Hmm. It happened to my uncle as well. The eldest child of the king, and yet he never ascended to the throne. All families whose bloodlines carry the crests of the Ten Elites are much the same. But House Gautier takes it a step further, and absolutely requires an heir who possesses a crest. Mm. Why are they so obsessed with it? To that house, the power of crests is a necessity, not a luxury. Oh. House Gautier holds the most northern territory in the kingdom, and they have fought with the people to the north for many years. The head of that house is responsible for protecting that territory from fearsome invaders, whom they keep at bay with the power of crests and So relics. the crest pretty much protects you from becoming a monster. In exchange for that responsibility, they are granted special privileges within the kingdom. So just like us, we have that weird crest so we can have the holy sword. In a way, that said, ability cannot be measured by the possession of a crest alone. I believe that Margrave Gautier was wrong to disinherit Miklon, simply because he did not bear a crest. Still, there is always a reason for why such customs stand the test of time. That's true. Imagine what this world would be like if no one placed any stock in crests. Bloodlines that carry crests would dwindle. The metaphorical blade used to oppose threats would eventually rust. Hmm. <sighs> this same argument has been made time and time again across the years. Both sides are at once right and wrong. What do you believe? I believe those with crests and those without should acknowledge the other's strengths and learn to respect each other based on personal merits. I agree. And that doesn't apply only to crests. The same holds true for lineage, race, faith, ideologies. If we could just accept each other and make mutual concessions mm, once Yeah, I can see why time, this breaks him. Perhaps... <sighs> Everyone has something that is unacceptable within them. I certainly do. And I'd wager you do as well. I wonder which is best, Professor. To cut away that which is unacceptable? Or to find a way to accept it anyway? I don't know. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the creator. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we have that weird now relic. Then, or I mean, I shall tell you crest. about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop. Hello, this is Megan. Hi. So, calling you regarding your appointment on Monday for the depo. Yes. Like your Iowa Total Care insurance is inactive. Oh and yes, I have a mayor group. You have a mayor group. Yes. Yeah, no worries. Okay, perfect, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Sateth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Oh, no. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? 
Uh, I have not. I've been battling I have the... everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh no, 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 what am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. He freaks out way too much. I'm gonna need him to calm down. Part one. White clouds. Horsebow moon. Rumors of a reaper. Oh no. As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlin welcomes the riches of fall. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, gratefully embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horse bows and empty sacks ready to be filled with game. It's so cool. All right, 4,000 gold. As I believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister Flane has gone missing. Oh no. At present, all we know for certain is that she has not left Garrick Mok. Okay, then Flane where did she is go? not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to consider the worst. But... Maybe you should watch your sister better. There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The oh knights goodness. have investigated the matter. They have not discovered any remains, nor have they found any concrete evidence. The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight Ooh. is coming to claim their souls. Wasn't he the one on the sword? There is no or on the horse. We had the sword. You were captured by such a fiend. Where is she? Seteth, recall that impatience begets error. Please do your best to calm yourself. I think of your sister as family as well. You know that. You have my support. We will devote ourselves fully, mind, body, and soul, to recovering her. Do we really have to recover her? <laughs> Professor, your mission for this month is to help find Flane. Okay. The knights have the town covered, so I ask that you focus your efforts on searching the monastery again. We do not have time to waste. You have your orders. Sounds good. That's what we'll do. Flane has disappeared? Seteth must be beside himself. So, finding little Flane is our mission for this moon? Leave it to me, Professor. Chasing after girls is my specialty. Love it. Sylvain, even you must agree that now isn't the time for jokes. I hope Flane is okay. I've heard rumors about some death knight running around town. It's weird that they don't all remember so the guy on the horse. I have been hoping to cross blades with him. Oh, okay. Felix, please consider how Sedith must be feeling right now. In any case, we must start our search at once. Every moment matters. On your order, Professor. Let's try to collect as much information as we can. Sounds good. That's what we'll do. Since we have no other choice. I'm on the lookout for suspicious individuals. The only place I've yet to check is the library. We'll go together. As you wish. Candlelight. And who is that? Hmm. No, it isn't. Impossible. Professor, to do. What are you up to at this hour? What is Dimitri doing? Your Highness, my apologies. Oh, none necessary. I'm sorry for startling you. I was just doing some research. But I'm just about finished. I didn't realize how late it had gotten. We'd better head back to our quarters to do. Until tomorrow, Professor. Hmm. A most unusual man. Whatever could he have been looking for so late at night? Hmm? That book is quite askew. 
He must have rushed to put it back upon the shelf. What's going on? It seems to be a record of donations from nobility. Arundel. That's not a name I know. Hmm. But look at that. This Arundel gave quite a sum each year. That is, until the year 1174. He must have died or fallen to financial woe. Hmm. I can't imagine what this has to do with Flane. Who knows? Dimitri's an odd one. But I like him. <laughs> Alright. Yes, let's give her flowers. I have gratitude. Alright, so I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!